Hi, this is Brooke Wallace with your news headline updates for Thursday, February the 9th. The Satanic Temple today delivered a demand letter to state officials threatening a lawsuit if it is denied a public hearing for its proposed eight and a half foot tall bronze statue of the goat-headed pagan god Baphomet on the grounds of the state capitol. The letter comes in response to a bill passed 91 to 0 by the House earlier this week which would halt consideration of new monuments on the Capitol grounds unless they're first approved by the legislature. The bill, co-sponsored by Representative Kim Hammer and Senator Jason Rapert, appeared to be aimed at putting a stop to the Satanic Temple's efforts. The Senate narrowly passed Senator Bart Hester, Republican from Cave Springs, bill to allow the sale of wine in grocery stores yesterday, 18 to 11. SB 284 is now in the House Rules Committee, which won't take it up until next week. As we reported earlier in the week, there's all sorts of political jockeying going on behind the scenes here. The bill is a product of a deal between Walmart and other grocers and the Arkansas Beverage Retailers Association and Arkansas Wineries. The Times has obtained a copy of an agreement dated November 21st that sketches out the terms. In return for standing down against the push to allow wine in grocery stores, the grocers agreed to not pursue any statewide or local efforts to turn dry parts of Arkansas wet for eight years from the date the legislation is signed into law. A splinter group of liquor stores, whose owners weren't involved in the backroom deal, complained that grocers wouldn't be subject, subject to the same rules and restrictions liquor stores have to abide by. There wouldn't be the same requirements that stores be set back from schools or churches, and grocers could undercut liquor stores by selling at or near cost thanks to their ability to buy in huge volume, the liquor store says. A bill by House Speaker Jeremy Gillum, Republican of Judsonia, that would create a variety of exemptions and loopholes in the state's 2014 ethics amendment was voted down by the Senate this morning, 9-12. The bill was amended this week to make the loopholes a bit less egregious, but it is still significantly weakens the ethics law. Most of the opposition to HB 1401 came from Democrats, but they were joined by three Republicans, including Senator Jim Hendren of Gravit, the majority leader. Thirteen Republican senators did not cast a vote on the measure. A vandal armed with a magic marker defaced five artworks in an exhibition of drawings by Ben Edwards at the Art Center of the Ozarks in Springdale last week, writing, Bad art and make America great again and fag on the works on paper. Well, that's all your news headlines for today. Read more on the Arkansas blog and please join us tomorrow.